Hey everybody and welcome to part 10 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. So in the last episode we made it here to Winter Tundra, which is the last home world of the game. Spyro, Ripto's still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. Okay. If you can collect enough orbs, you'll be able to get the power crystal back from Ripto, and we can send you to Dragon Shore. I guess that's cool enough. So once again, 400 gems. Obviously, it's like every other level. But this is actually my favorite level in the entire game. Yeah, the home world. Who would have thunk it? But guys, guess what? It's snowy mountain level. And we need to talk to this greedy bear. Well, Spyro, it comes down to this. There's only one more thing I can teach you. And like all the best things, it doesn't come cheap. Great. Let me guess a thousand? Yep. The head bash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump, then press the triangle button. The triangle button. That was weird. I wasn't actually supposed to be that close. But yeah, you can smash open rocks now. And those plat uh, those gem, I guess, platform thingies that you know have the target on them. And why didn't you head bash? Why did you glide? So one of the levels we have here is Mystic Marsh. I actually really like that level. It can be difficult at times, but it is a very great level. Like, it's full of mysticness. And there's three orbs here, including one that was found in a rock. Also, Zoe doesn't save her progress, apparently, when we just, uh... I guess pick up orbs from the ground? Oh, looks like we got some ice. See? Second time we see ice in the entire game. We haven't seen it since... Uh, Colossus. And that's the first level we did. Now for this portal you need orbs, but you might as well just wait and come back to it when you actually want to do it, because you have to reactivate it every time anyway until you actually go to it. So there's no real point on of, like, you know, going to it without actually going to the level. See those things down there? See the thing with the target on top? That's what head bash is for. You can also do it while gliding. You just press triangle twice. Pretty cool, eh? Money! Money, money, money. Money! Now, I will go down there for the gems uh, in a bit, but you can actually do it if you go to get the orb as well. Oh, there's also a whirlwind. Uh, we have another level here known as Robotica Farms. It's an interesting level. Like your typical farm based level, which is why I'm surprised it's such a late game level. Because normally farms are not, you know, that late game. Farms are normally one of the first worlds you go to, because guess what, it's a farm, simple enemy. No, this farm is actually pretty difficult. Now, once again, we'll activate this portal later. I believe this one is Metropolis, and the one out there was Cloud Temples. Maybe not Cloud Temples, but just Cloud Temple. But, yeah. Now, to get 100% here, we actually have to do something. And a lot of people accidentally trigger the boss by doing this, but we actually have to go up here. And you actually have to open up the boss door, so hopefully you have enough orbs to actually get in. Spyro, you got the orbs. Defeat of Ripto is only moments away, right? Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. Well, you have a lot of enthusiasm, but I'm just here for the gems. Don't actually want to deal with the boss fight yet. Okay, I just need these gems that apparently I got sucked into talking to you first. Um. First things first, this side of the wall is where one of the random bouncy orbs are. Sweet money! Now, I believe what's funny about this um, whirlwind is this whirlwind actually brings you up to the top of the staircase, which I always thought was kind of weird that it did so. Because it's like, well... It's weird. You think it just bring me up to the top of the fence or the the wall? So now you actually come down here, and there's a pool of water that you can go into, and this will lead you to the third and final orb of the level. Should just be on top of a waterfall. The camera angles here are a little bit finicky, but eh, not the worst thing in the world. Also, money bags to open up the last speedway. Thought we were gonna get off scot free for not paying for another speedway, eh? I guess you pay for all. Th One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro. It's not that expensive, you know. Well, thanks, man. 
Oh, it's only 200. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Okay, I guess technically we double our money, so it's a good deal. But Canyon Speedway, so see, now orbs show up. But like I was gonna say was, um, you technically pay for half of your speedways in gems and half of them in orbs. I never realized that when I first played, but two speedways are opened up via, um, gems by paying money bags, and two of them are opened up via getting enough orbs. And there we go. So now what I do is before we go backtracking, I always like to go and, you know, do the speedway. So let's go do Canyon Speedway. Because we are going to get 100% before we take on the final boss of the game. As you guys can tell, you don't even need to get close to 100%. Well, we're, we were at 75%, but 75% done the game and can already defeat the last boss, so... Yeah, they didn't make it so you have to get 100% on everything to actually beat the game. Though, to get the, um... Wait, what the hell? Oh, there they are. To get the actual uh, end level, you do need to get 100%. Oh, there are rings here. That's weird. Rings. Woohoo! Now where are we going? Are we actually going towards... Oh, we're actually going behind them. Well, that's dumb. Hopefully we don't find the gap that we killed, because we did kill a few of them. Actually, if you time this right, you should be able to get to um, the next portion where you need to kill the last group of enemies. Yeah, see, birds. These guys give you two, so you should be fine once you're here. God damn it. Man, nuggets. Get back, your bird brains. And there we go, last bird. Cut it a little close, but we did do it. And now we can go and do the uh, challenge, which actually is, I believe, is behind us. Uh, I believe back this way. Woohoo! Super poo. Poo on you. I believe Hunter, yeah, is over here by the birds. Here we go. Hey, buddy. All right, Spyro. Are you ready to try out my plane? I just fixed it, and I'm pretty sure it won't crash now. Oh great, that sounds reassuring. So now we just have to shoot balloons by pressing circle and aiming with reverse controls. Congratulations, reverse controls made their debut. They show up in every game, I swear. Plus this gunfire is a little loud compared to the rest of the game. Okay, we're already a quarter of the way done. Wait, a quarter of the way done. A fifth of the way done. Yeah, those blimps are actually balloons too, so be careful. Pop goes the weasel. Except it's not really a weasel. It's a balloon. Well, and a blimp. Which is a type of balloon. That, you know, carries people. Just like a hot air balloon. They're both used for transport purposes. I believe if you miss one, you actually lose automatically. The challenge isn't overly difficult. But it can be annoying if you don't know reverse controls very well in video games. Oh, I was actually able to come back for that one. There we go. I think that was the last one. Hey, you nailed all of the targets. It must be because you had such a good pilot. We actually did fly us very well. Thanks, Hunter. And let's quit. Now we can go backtrack to World 2. Probably gonna do Shady Oasis first because I think I honestly prefer that level. Boink. Yeah, my girlfriend's at work again, so I'm recording. The last episode, so you guys seen, I was actually at home. That's why you guys didn't see Yoshi. And you seen an extra Spyro because I actually had an extra Spyro recorded, but I didn't have um, any any more time to record Yoshi. So I apologize for that. Autumn plants. My poor kitty bear is sick. His poor Tom Tom. He's my good buddy. Right, little good buddy? Yeah, dude. I'm totally wicked. I'm totally your bestest bro. Yeah, he's my bestest bro. 
Yeah, man, Fracture Hills, we have so much to do because I barely did anything in that level. Which sucks, but... I don't know, I wanted to move on. Knowing that you can't get 100% anyway. So I guess let's go do it. Let's get it out of the way. Three orbs missing and we got the talisman. And now we probably are not going to replay the intro, guys. And now my girlfriend asks me how little buddy's doing. And Bear Bear's fine. Oh, well, at least right now. He was sick. And I believe we re to Yeah. Come on, I don't wanna... No, dude, it's like we're doing the entire level over again. I don't want to talk to you. Man. So these Earth Shapers. Oh, come on, you cheater. Get in the lobby, you son of a bitch. Oh, great, more of you. It's like more doom all over. If you guys get the reference, let me know. Now, a lot of you guys always think I reference Destiny or Darksiders. No, 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 I never reference those games, surprisingly. So don't always think it's those two games. Because the chances of me referencing them are pretty damn slim. Also, I'm playing like something like Binding of Isaac. You know, with like the four horsemen and stuff in it. Then, no. Oh! He's like, oh shit, Spyro's got me, man. There's gems up top, so we have to go back up. Burninating. Dude, you were like, what the hell? You know what, dickweed? No, you're not. Wow, wait, I just realized there are so many enemies in one given spot. Ah, oh, there are gems over. What? What are you talking about, gems over here? Oh, you mean in there? Okay, yeah, we can't get in there yet, sir. Damn, Sparks telling me to get gems that I can't get yet. Here, you eat that while I free this goddamn satyr. And my cat's behind my computer and stuff, or my recording equipment, so I hope he doesn't unplug it. If he does, well, then this recording's fucked, and we probably won't have a good recording after it. Also, he's on my PlayStation. Buddy, get off the PlayStation. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Get off the PlayStation. Buddy. 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 Come here. Oh. There we go. I got him off the PlayStation. Sorry about that. I don't know if I'll edit that out, but I had to get him off the PlayStation. Otherwise, you know, things could have went bad. Shut up, music. Any gems down there I can get? There are some over here that I can get. Well, a gem. Just one gem, really? Oh wait, this is back in the same area we were just in. Stop pointing me in that direction, game. I don't want that gem. I can't get that gem. Not yet. Not until I get the supercharge active. You know, I don't get how to hurt him without getting... Well, kill him without me getting hurt myself. Okay, let's see what else we got. The sun siren's really warm on my face. Yeah, I got him first. There we go. Let's try this. I don't think we're missing any gems in there, but... But it's, you know, worth, you know, risking the fact that there's gems in there. You don't want to miss anything. Goodbye, sir. Also, some of the more annoying gems to get in this level are right here. Yeah, supercharge that, my friends. I like how people bring up the fact that they're watching this series and Yoshi more than God of War, but God of War and Yoshi are both getting more views than this. So it's like, if you guys are really watching this series more, then how come you guys actually aren't? Though, after this, I will be starting Sly uh, Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, and getting 100% on that. As for the sequels, I don't know how well I'm going to be at getting 100%, though I will try for you guys. Hey you, plant! You also need supercharge to get one of the orbs in there. Now, you can't, you cannot use that. You could not see me, fool. I wonder if there's any gems behind this fortress. No, there's this would be like the ideal spot to hide stuff, but no, didn't put anything. Not one thing at all. Oh yeah, that's all places that we've been to. 
Uh, can we use supercharge yet? Oh, now we can. See, these enemies here, you kill them differently. Because you're probably like, well, we looks like we can kill them. And yes, you, you as for as a matter of fact, you guys can actually kill them. It's just a little more difficult to do it than you'd think. Anyways, let's grab this orb that's in here. Oof. And grab it. Oh, thank goodness you broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I found this fancy orb in here. Please take it. I absolutely hate your voice. I'm not gonna lie, I hate your voice. And if you guys are wondering what I'm drinking, I'm actually drinking Pepsi while I record. So sorry if you guys hear me swallow and stuff like that. And for some reason, my square button got stuck, so I couldn't flame. Now that, now that you have rescued all of us, you can save us from the great nasty Gnork. Oh wait, wrong game. Nasty Nork. Nasty Pork. Muslim, I believe it's Muslim, no, it's Jews that hate pork, right? Wait, why am I going backwards? Oh no, I'm going backwards! Alright, that failed. Woohoo! Sayonara, pluckers. So what I need is not over there. Or oh, I believe over there. What I need is then over here. There we go! Actually, it wasn't that bad to get. And this is funny because there's like no big gem quantities in there. I believe the rest of the gems should be over this way. So I'll try and grab them before dealing with all these enemies. Well, dealing with the orbs that come here, which honestly are the most annoying of annoying orbs. And I highly recommend you grab some health for this. And, uh, a bag of anti-frustration pills or something crazy like that. There we go, grab you. Then get up here and grab all of these gems. Hopefully this is all the gems. I don't think it will be, but we'll try anyway. Woohoo! Aw, oh, man. Oh, yeah, you're pointing that way? Oh, I know where you're pointing. You're pointing where Hunter is. Hi, Hunter. Why do you look red? There we go! 100% on all the gems here. Now we actually have to talk to this guy. This challenge better be... It should be five stars, honestly. Now what you have to do is you have to prevent him from getting hit while escorting... Well, you have to escort him to Hunter without him getting hit. By any of these guys. And to do that, well, you have to hit them, obviously. I believe he loops around here. Don't know why, because he's dumb as a sack of shit, but I believe you can't hit him. Shit, wrong way. No, you're not hitting the alchemist. And alchemy is never one of those things in World of Warcraft that I ever really did, you know? No, get... Goddamn idiot got in my own goddamn way. Oh my god, Jesus. Will you escort me past those earth shapers? Dude. I already said yes, but you're an idiot. Man. So I don't think we'll have time to do the other backtracking session in this episode. But, um... We will do the other backtracking session. Shit, wrong one. God damn it, that was my fault. I'm sorry. Plus the sun, where I'm, I'm, I have my new recording station, the sun is coming through the cur blinds, and it literally just blinded me, so... Yeah, once we're done this, uh, that, or these two orbs, we'll be done the episode. In the next episode, we'll do Shady Oasis and probably um, Mystic Marsh. I believe Mystic Marsh is one of the shorter of the levels in the last world. There are four levels, right? Mystic Marsh, Cloud Temples, Robotica Farms, and yeah. So then next we have to deal with this guy. There we go. 
Now, I believe what he does is he actually turns around, right? He doesn't actually go to that guy. Nope. He goes straight for this guy again. Is that the last guy he actually deals with? I think it is. There we go! We finally made it! Now, does Hunter give us the orb? Man, do my feet feel better. Would you look after this for me? I don't know why you can just give it to me in the first place, Hunter. As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn earth shapers? Yeah, might as well. Is this one rated 5? No, this one's rated 4. This one's slightly easier. So you just have to wait for him to shoot his arrow. And then once one's down, you have to quickly do that. This one over here? Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, why that guy? Dude, you have some really weird patterns to attack these guys with. There we go. We make a great team. Here, I was going to give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. <laughs> I would be too, man. You were stuck there forever. Couldn't do it himself. And there we go. Fracture Hills is now complete. Meaning one less level to do. 4,064 gems. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about, my bros! So anyways... I think that does it for this episode, and in the next episode, what we'll be doing is we will be going and finishing a shitty oasis. Until then, guys, stay awesome, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.